Hey there everybody, Red X Parasite here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Super Metroid. Now I should put Let's Play in air quotes because this is probably going to be more of a speedrun with commentary than a Let's Play, but we'll just get into it. Um, I do speedrun this game, I've been speedrunning it for quite some time. Um, don't really have any like near world record times by any means, but... Um, as far as all the games that I typically speedrun, I've put the most amount of time into this game. So, this is probably going to be a little bit different of a Let's Play compared to most you'll probably see. Um, I'm going to try to impart some of my knowledge about the game, and I'll be talking about some of the tricks that I'm doing, sequence breaks, all that kind of stuff. Um, and... Gonna try, trying to have fun. This will just be basically me doing a run of this game. Um, had a fun idea of a sort of drinking game that you could do while you're watching this. Um, if I say like, hey, I got something, or I messed something up, you can take a shot. Uh, if you, or if I say like something really difficult, um, then, or like a trick is difficult, then you can finish your glass. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there could probably be other ones that I could add, but I have a feeling I'm going to be saying those kinds of things a lot. So we'll see how that goes. We're getting we're getting the story of Super Metroid here. I've watched this cutscene. I can't tell you how many times because you have to watch it every single time you start a new game. Um, which is actually why sometimes I'll just keep a save file around that. Um, it's just me getting to like Ceres or starting from the planet surface so I can just skip past it. Um, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool for the time, but I've seen it so many times that, eh. <laughs> but this should be fun. I don't know what, to, what else to say. I don't have anything to talk about until the game actually starts. Well, at least this is almost over. Ceres was under attack. Dun dun dun. And three, two, one, go. All right, it's going well so far. Yeah, the, the fastest way to get through that room is to not hit the ground falling on your way down, which is not the easiest thing to do. Um, I think it might be faster to run down those, but since you can't arm pump uh, on slope downward surfaces, uh, I just typically jump. So, arm pumping um, is the technique you'll see me doing while I'm running. So, it's basically just that. I'm spamming the aim up and down buttons. And what that does is when Samus is running, um, pressing either of the diagonal aiming buttons will move her forward by one pixel. Now, it's more helpful in TISs. Oh, I missed Ridley. Me. It's more helpful in TISs when you can do it 30 times a second. You know, humanly, that's just, it's not possible to get it going that fast. But with Ridley here, uh, the fastest way to beat him is actually to get hurt because he takes 64 shots uh, to kill or you can just get down to below 25 HP so that is by far the fastest way of uh, defeating him so you just kind of sit in the corner his tail does more damage than the rest of his body so that's why I was trying to hit his tail this escape is pretty self-explanatory I did mess up one jump I could have had like about three seconds faster on that but otherwise that was actually pretty solid for Ceres of course that was only the introduction to the game we're just getting started <laughs> planet Zebes I remember having wars or the pronunciation of that back when I was younger it was like is it Zebes is it Zebes you know and apparently Zebus is the official pronunciation, so that's just kind of what I've learned. 
to say. All right, starting off here. Criteria. Running. We're going to be doing a lot of running. So I'm going to spam the shoulder buttons. Cool. Okay, that's kind of a tight timing on that to hit the door and still be able to run at it at full speed. And then we have more falling. Hit the ledge. Yeah, I'm messing a few things up here and there, but... And that... I like to count these, so four, five, six. After the sixth one, you have to move left one so you can avoid the one on the right side. Oop. I didn't anticipate that I would actually make it onto that ledge. That's why I jumped backwards. So what I just did right there uh, is when Samus is running and you're holding one of the diagonal buttons and you let go of forward... Uh, she will instantly stop. So you'll see me use that trick particularly to get onto elevators really quickly because you have to be completely stopped to get onto an elevator. So that trick makes it really easy because you can basically stop in a single frame. So we're getting missiles here. So what I just did right there... Um, this doesn't really save you all that much time in real time. Um, but basically when Samus is going up against a wall or other surface, I messed that up. I really messed it up. Okay, we'll just improvise it. That was not a good room for that. Um, but when she's up against a wall, like, or within a certain range of a wall, the game checks behind her to see if there is a wall so that we, she can wall jump. So what you can do is basically collect items faster because the game will check if there's a wall behind her and therefore you'll pick it up a little bit sooner. So doesn't really play into real time speed runs that much, but you'll see it in TAS's. All right, this is actually a really fun room. You get to do a lot of single wall jumping. All right, that was, a, that was a nearly perfect version of that room. Some of those shots are kind of hard to get. You're seeing me landing on the platforms and shooting them, particularly the last one, just because this, uh, the space pirate is so far up. You actually have to travel with the shot to get it to hit. So now we're on our way to get the bombs. Um, it is actually possible to skip Teresa, which is the name of the mini boss, um, but only in TAS. <laughs> it's a very tight window. You can get, I think, 42 frames in order to escape, and in order to actually get to the door and get out before it closes, uh, you need to be able to arm pump at TAS. <laughs> speeds so uh, with Terezo we did not get the best start with him uh, the best start that you can get is actually to make him jump backwards right away because um, then he just does th that attack where he launches those uh, balls right away and you can usually get a lot of missiles from that I actually got really good drops on my first round, I got enough missiles to basically kill him before he had to do that attack again. So that was a pretty good Teresa fight, all things considered. Oop. Be beating that Ripper there is always one of those things that... Oops. Had a feeling I kind of might mess that trick up. And now I'm just not going to be able to get it, like, at all. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is wall jump and then instantly morph, but I'm not actually wall jumping on that wall. Okay, I didn't get enough height on that one. Now, at this point, it would have been faster for me to go out the normal way, but uh, I am stubborn and want to get this trick to work, and I am not getting this trick to work. Oh, jeez. There we go. I usually do not have nearly that much trouble with it. So that was really bad. <laughs> All 
So we're picking up our first energy tank. Now, I do have this game rooted out pretty well, so if you're wondering why I don't get particular items at a certain point, um, even if I could get them, then that's why. I have an order that I like to get everything in that is pretty fast, so. All right, that was perfect. So actually the any percent run and 100% runs are identical up until this point. Here in Brinstar is where it's actually gonna change. Oops. So we're getting super missiles early here by doing a trick called the Mach Ball, in which if you morph right when you hit the ground, um, you'll maintain all of your momentum that you had going into it. So you can use it to cross those pitfall blocks without um, losing speed and then falling off. Now normally you would need the speed booster in order to get that particular uh, super missile expansion, but all you need is the morph ball actually. So we're getting two more missiles here. I actually was a little bit high on that one. This one is pretty cleverly hidden, the one in the back. And we're also getting our first reserve tank. Now reserve tanks aren't really going to mean much to us in this run because um, they're basically just an extra set of four energy tanks. But we have to collect them for 100%, so we're doing that. Oops. I was trying to kill that guy before get out. So what I was doing on those pitfall blocks there is you can actually boost through them by basically kind of moving the uh, moving yourself back and forth and kind of boosting around the corner of the block. It's kind of difficult to describe exactly how it works, but if you just spam back and forth, then you should be able to get it to work. So we got health off, off of uh, that enemy, which is pretty good. Um, we're a little bit low on health right now, but we'll be reaching an energy recharge station soon enough, so. Mm, I did not place that bomb close enough. All right. I would like to get the charge beam before we leave. Green Brinstar here. Okay, with this room, uh, there's a missile expansion in this room that you can actually get now or uh, later. I prefer to get it now just because when we're going to be coming through this room the second time, it'll be faster for us to just run all the way through it. And actually, we'll be coming through it a third time too, but we'll be going in the opposite direction. So what I just did right there is called a recoil jump. So if you get damaged and you hold backwards in the direction that you got damaged from, then you can basically get a speed boost. Uh, and if you turn around right before you get hit, you can actually boost in the direction that you want to travel instead of backwards. So you'll see me use that a couple times. Um, doesn't get used a ton. Um, so I did a little glitch right here where if you pause when you're going into either the missile recharges or energy recharges, uh, you're free to move around. So there you go. I I got did another recoil jump. That one I typically don't get, actually. It's kind of hard to do. So we're picking up the spacer beam right here. You're supposed to have the high jump boots in order to get this, but you can just ball jump for it. It's pretty easy. Alright, this is not quite so easy. Alright, cool, I got it. So, that is pretty tight timing in order to get that mock ball. Because uh, you have to shoot the the one block that we destroyed getting in. 
<sighs> All right, so with Kraid here, uh, we're gonna be doing it before we get the high jump boots, cause who needs those? Uh, you can actually get into Kraid two ways. Um, you can get to it from the upper ledge there and then just wall jump, or you can start from the lower one that I did, which is usually the backup strat. Um, and wall jump. You're going to have to wall jump to get to it no matter what you do. So that's why it's a, you know, a little tricky to pull off, but it's not too bad. So this mini crate here, you can kill it with two missiles, which is probably the easiest way to kill it. Um, it's more cost effective than using a super missile. And we're getting into Kraid here. Now, Kraid has enough health to take uh, three super missiles and a missile. Usually, what I do to kill him, uh, there's a fast way of killing him before he even stands up. It's pretty precise on the timing. Yep, see, I didn't get it. Um, I think it was a little late. Basically, uh, if you catch him at a certain point of his mouth being open, then he'll just kind of stand there. You can unload all four super missiles into him very quickly. Um, I mean, I had a pretty pretty quick fight with him standing up, but it is faster to beat him while he's still down. And it also has the added fun bonus of the, the screen doesn't scroll at all. So the room is actually a 2x2 two two block on the map, but it will just stay in the bottom left corner, like the camera won't pan with Samus, if you manage to get the quick kill. Of course, it'll it'll reset once you leave the room, but... That's a fun little thing that I didn't get to show off because I wasn't able to do it. Now we're just going to leave Kraid here. One thing I don't like about Kraid is there's a missile expansion in... Uh, this room, and I got hit by some of the enemies coming out, so I'm just going to kill them all. Um, there's a missile expansion in this room that requires you to have the power bombs, and while we could go out of our way and get the power bombs early before this point, it's not really worth it, so usually I just come back to Kraid quickly a little bit later in the run to get it. So we're going to pick up our next energy tank here. And uh, for now, we're leaving Kraid and heading to Norfair. Yep, did not quite make that jump. That's kind of a tricky jump to make. And I did not get the elevator, the quick elevator either. All right, so now we're now that we're down here in Norfair, um, there are 100% runs that skip Kraid until after sections of Norfair, um, but it's really hard to do because you're doing suitless runs in heated areas with not a lot of health, so it's not easy to do, uh, you know, as a human. Now that door over there is controlled by that one enemy so if you kill kill it quickly before it gets out of the way and then just open the door that door will not be open so we don't have to chase the enemy around once we get the high jump boots and leave because otherwise you have to wait for it to like come down to this area and it would take forever if there's another reason why i like uh getting the various suit before we go to norfair um, it's because there's a missile expansion along this path that is submerged in lava. And so you're supposed to have the, oops, I used an extra super missile, but you're supposed to have the gravity suit so that you'll be you know, immune to, oh, hey, I got it back. Cool. But you're supposed to have it so that you're immune to the lava damage, but we're just going to ignore it. And then... 
Okay, this room is kind of interesting. So there's rising lava here. And what we're going to do is just ride along the floor until we get to a certain point. Because it's honestly easier to just take the damage and go... Go faster than it is to try to jump over it. So there's a missile down here. And then... We're going to be doing a little skip here that's going to save... Oop. I almost beat that block respawning. Um, this is going to save us going through the entire loop that you'd normally need to access the speed booster and wave beam. That's all there is to it. You just have to get your speed up. And I think this is actually a good place to cut the episode, so I'm going to pause right here and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Red X Parasite, signing out.